Hello everyone, I'm Coyote Jack and well over the last week hasn't been very good for internet preservation. Things have been very rough, so let's let's go into this because well I want to read you this headline. Appeals Court upholds ruling against Internet Archive. So a federal appeals has upheld a lower score ruling that the Internet Archive's virtual open library program is considered copyright infringement. That's what they said. Four years ago, publishers Hatchet Book Group, HarperCollins Publishers, John Welly and Sons, and Penguin Random has filed a lawsuit against the Internet Archive for providing over 1.3 million books to the Internet users just as the COVID-19 Pan pandemic was getting underway, yeah. Corona Chan and all the globalists, and you know, P Internet Archive step in to just provide content. And let's see how these things got out of the way. The publishers claim that the Internet Archive engaged in willful mass copyright infringement and that the website services grossly exceed legitimate library services do violence to the Copyright Act and constitute willful digital piracy on an industrial scale. I have to bring the example when uh, with video games because, well, it's related exactly to some content. I'm going to bring you the example. A uh, year ago, I think I bought for cheap digitally in the Argentinian store Melty Block Tile Lumina Deluxe Edition. It only cost me like two dollars, or even less than two dollars, despite the taxation. But well, that it comes with the game and with the digital version of the art book. And if I compare it to Blast Blues, Chrono Phantasm, or Central Fiction. Those have a digital book in a PDF file. Uh, so in, th in that format you can actually grab it from the files of the game and do many copies as you can since you already bought it. Meanwhile, the other one, I need to use an internet connection to play that shit. I can beg your ass that those fuckers that are just suing Internet Archive, they want you to overpay even more or even push DRM to your physical book. It sounds stupid, but well, they can go very stupid when it comes to appeasing investors sucking that dick because they know they are desperate for money. And the old stuff, of course, the whole reason of, uh, why they're attacking is because the old stuff is better than the new stuff they are producing. But moving on, online conventional ebooks. The open library programs allow users to check out books online that the Internet Archive actually owns in a warehouse. So they can bear, they can fact check that they own them, but still, that's not enough. You know how these fucking corporations at the end of the day are. The digital copy represents an actual purchase physical copy hosted off-site, much like how paper currency was originally meant to represent gold and other precious metals. Meaning the virtual works in the open library are more real than today's fiat currency, but that's a conversation for another article. <laughs> yeah, and this one is niche gamer being spiteful towards. Well, they want you to throw away your physical goods and just with this fucking never owning nothing and be happy nonsense. Chris Freeland from the Internet Archive shared his disappointment with the decision, saying, We are disappointed in today's opinions about the Internet Archives, digital lending of books that are available electronically elsewhere. We are reviewing the court's opinion and will continue to defend the rights of libraries to own, lend, and preserve books. Hey, they own those physical books. If you want to send a fucking FBI or these fucking three letters INCs to verify it, I think this dude Chris Freeland is wilding to do so just so they can't stop fucking with him.
But you know how these things are. Corporations, they just want to be the monopoly, even after you own it physical. Even they don't want you scanning your own stuff and having a own, own, own digital copy inside your computer. And he ends his message with a call for supporters to sign an open letter asking to restore access to hundreds of thousands of books. The burning of Alexandria Library. However, this needn't be the final war as the Supreme Court could possibly be activated to consider the case. And let's see, because in this case it's like they do not own and they have a physical copy. And if they are going to go uh, do the same fucking... Oh, I, I want to see if you have it. Go ahead. <laughs> but that's one thing. Jumping on another time is probably you're not going to like how it went. Pirate side and hentai suit in US court for copyright infringement. Why a fucking US California corporation that doesn't have many dojins or hentai content. They still want to be a monopoly. I, I'm jumping. I saved that for the end. First, let's read this. And hentai, a popular adult site with dozens of millions of monthly visits, has been sued for copyright infringement. The lawsuit was filed by California company PCR Distribution, which operates several hentai brands. The complaint alleges that N hentai doesn't respond to take the notices. That's a lie, they responded to Faku. They responded to Faku. And they took down the legendary one with Jensen Emerians. And I have to bring again the, what I said with the uh, example with Blast Blue and Melty Blood with the uh, digital goods that they offer, which is the art books. If you go to the site of Faku and you find Henshin Emeralds, they not selling physical version anymore. Instead, they are selling you the digital one. Or worst case is when you find one, another artist you know that has a dojin that only has 20 pages, but they want you to overcharge you with 50, well, not 50, 30 dollars is the last price I, I saw and just like fucking blasphemy for digital. At least you sold me the physical one. Even in my country, some people print digital, uh, the digital dojins in physical. And they circulate that for not so expensive amount of money. And they, they, they since they care, they actually chose the right paper and the cover. They even, I remember one because uh, some friend lent me one since those were fine in an interesting spot. It has some... Some marks between the <laughs> the art book and the girl in the cover, so you can actually touch it and have a, a little sensation. So th that's how you know those people care. But Faku? No, no, that's not the case. Even those fuckers lol cow lies the the stuff they are licensing, so it's difficult to find the original with the ori of course the original name. But well, I already ranted before, continuing with the article. Manga anime have become increasingly popular in recent years, and that's not a good thing, to be honest. These formats are in, the, in Japan, but they are now popular all over the world. I will label in static and animated form, hentai describes the adult versions of the above, with a growing audience of many millions of fans. That's true, hentai is also benefiting from the boom. As with any type of media, not all consumers are paying for access because one, they are making difficult and over exaggerated expensive. And you can bet it's just the same case as fucking Crunchyroll. They are just paying the licensing and they are just earning all the money in the West while at the same time they are localized, censor everything they don't like because they think the, the main customer is fucking stupid. Imagine my shock. Anime and manga piracy is more prevalent than music piracy today. I agree. And hentai is not an exception. I agree. 
TechEngenty.net website, for example, had nearly 80 million visits in June this year. Copyright holders are not happy with the unauthorized distribution of their content. Many take countermeasures, which often involve sending the MCA takedown. Thanks, Metallica and Sony, for creating that dog shit. Notices to pirate platforms, but not all recipients respond by taking content offline. So, we have right holds uh, targets and hentai. Coming from a company PCR distributing is one of the, quote, I want to say, quote unquote, affected copyright holders. The company does business under various brands, including J28 and Just USA, and sees and hentai as a minor trend to its operation. And because they did this shit, they just ruined it their reputation and possible future for income because compared to anime hentai fans they are not digless cocks when it comes to defend it they are not because this topic of degeneracy in fiction since you even have these fucking readers reading quote unquote anime fans reading about my fictional character have been on the edge. Oh man, they, they, from the hentai side, they don't give a fucking fuck, and they uh, have, they know where to put the balls. <laughs> Not pun intended in that regard, but well, continue on. PCR obtained a DMCA Sofina a weeks ago, a few weeks ago, excuse me, requiring Cloudflare to unmask the people behind the site. No, that's not how it should... <laughs> oh, man, well... Man, you, maybe I not understand the part a lot, but God, that was fucking scummy in my... If I'm being honest. Which allegedly failed to process the dance notice, as if frequently the case, a court clerk swiftly granted the subpoena requiring Godfrey to comply. In this case, however, that wasn't straightforward. A few days after the DNC subpoena was issued, Law was representing an agenda because they knew that this shit was going to happen, slam it on the brakes. They argued that no personal data should be disclosed as the subpoena should have never been granted, and even there is an article of that. So, just to catch, to catch down quickly. Once quashed improper cloud for the DNC subpoena, so copyright holders representatives frequently use DNC subpoenas to compel online intermediaries to share personal det details of alleged pirate sites operators. And that's that's a key part, because if you pay attention to how fucking DNC YouTube is, everyone can falsify information and claim they were the original owner and fuck the original content creator, just like happened every single time with YouTube. DNC must be erased from the fucking legal system over all the world. Because it's just fucking stupid, broken, and can only be used by fucking idiots that want to destroy a person or fucking corporations to have a full monopoly. And on top of that, I have to say, piracy at the end of the day is preservation. Because you can bet even those companies, they are not selling the old stuff anymore. Just like I said, Faku is not selling you the physical stuff anymore. They want you to comply with the digital one at the same price that used to be the physical and just go fuck yourself. At the time of writing, the matter is still pending in court. And Heita and Hentai's opposition is well argued and certainly has a chance of success. However, even if the subpoena is quashed and Hentai's legal issues are from from over, as PCR has just filled a full blown copyright infringement lawsuit, they are having the back of the corporation to just file all these lawsuits. Or maybe they are just doing it because they are using the legal system of California, which is a fucking broken state. And I have to say, Enhenta played smart here. They banned regions of the US, especially California, so they can argue, you know what? This side is yours, motherfucker. Don't... If you want us out of the US, sure. The real fans of that content, they are just going to use a VPN or find other ways. And they are going to remember Jazz USA and PCR and they are going to be in a lot of financial troubles in the not so near future. Since I have to mention, the... 
the end hentai fans they take this seriously and if they are just noticing that ah you don't have in and near what I like why do you want to destroy another on one side I have what I want instead of just fighting to make make it easier for me to buy it with a good amount of quality so this is when it comes with fucking end hentai just to continue on this quickly PCR sues and Genta for copyright infringement. And in a complaint filed last Friday, a California federal court, PCR describes and Genta as popular pirate ad with dozens of millions of visitors. Then Genta hosts their own stuff. The site shares copyright material without permission, taken from digital or physical books. Just like Internet Archive has their own physical books and they just make a digital version. Ah, oh, well. While the operators don't allow users to upload content, EndHentai.net is widely visited platform for adult manga and doujinshi content, attracting over 79 million visits per month. Mmm. Nice. The complaint reads. The website hosts a vast collection of EndHentai works including commercially produced content, which is almost non-existent nowadays. I have to say. Or even though they received a complaint from these fucking corporations, and hentai comply, they delete stuff, but I have to bring out again the fucking sensation that piracy at the end of the day is a service issue, because those dojins that got pushed in the past and never came back for, for at least for N hentai, they are not being produced or distributed by the authors or the distributor which they made the deal to export it. Again, just giving ammo for piracy. Those corporations are so fucking stupid. And they are just giving the reasons for all the fans of that want this stuff to be more spiteful towards these corporations as they, they will wonder why they end up being bankrupt. At least in the US since they are not selling many good stuff. The website hosts as vast collections of hentai words, including commercially produced content, much of which, based on information I believe, is shared without proper authorization from the owners. It's because it's up and hentai is operated more like a social media, and they claim, yeah, it's not like YouTube, it's not like those platforms where can even file our own DNCAs to fuck everyone over. Th that's why. And also, the loud suite emphasizes that Enhenta doesn't rely on user generated content. Yeah, I want that was what I was saying. So, Enhenta is not like fucking prepared for the NCA that this, those fuckers wants to abuse. Enhenta is not a user generated content website. There is no user upload capability. Defenders are not service providers, are not engaged in the storage of content and the direction of users, and those are not entitled to any of the safe harbors afforded under section. 512 of the DNCA and they try to f settle this but you know fucking PCR they just want to destroy in hentai and they're just going to confirm that in the next paragraph. The complaint doesn't identify the owners of in hentai who had yet to be named. However, PCR and in hentai are certainly not strangers. Last October, attorneys for the alleged pirate site offered to compensatively settle all copyright infringements claims with PCR. So, to take that down and even give money because then hentai owners they hire lawyers you can bet your ass that they have no much money but uh, still they were willing to sell, settle down this the proposed terms to the agreement are unknown but PCR declined of course they just want to destroy the site and declining and insisted that Enhenta should be taken down pirate content copies of their words and this highlights in October 23, the Enhenta defendants attempted to have PCR enter into highly confidential settlements and release agreement to settle claims, including copyright infringement between plaintiffs and defendants in this case. PCR declined the agreement and further requested the removal of its boards from Enhenta. Despite these efforts, Enhenta allegedly failed to remove any infringement works in response to PCR takedowns. Plaintiff of his science sends the NCA complaints to the notice identifying infringement works of defendants. 
the website's de own defendants went sent to the email address provided for reporting abuse. Additional DNCA complete statements notice were sent to agents and known service providers. I wonder how much that's true. However, 100% of reported URLs remain active. I wonder how much that's true because agents is even sounding frequent, even frequent dodging into plots being deleted. And they are just targeting Engenta because it's the most popular one. I know others that ha the, uh, even Engenta is just grabbing the old stuff or the users since the users are uploading it. Ah, oh, man. The <laughs> I already said what I said with piracy. But what are they doing? Want to destroy Engenta? They are going to tell you this. Damage and broad injunction. PCR accused Engentites of various forms of copyright infringement and demands damages as compensations. In addition, the company seeks a broad injunction to effectively shut down the site. They want to destroy Engentai. The Alexandria Library again. Exam the example is pretty relevant here. The injunction should prohibit, prohibit the site's operators from infringement the copyrights of PCR works going forward by destroying them and taking down the site. And require the register of enhentine.net to transfer the domain to PCR. That's where it is all this. Since enhentine.net is the most famous domain for hentai content, at least for the Dojinshi site, they want to take them down and take the domain so they can use the domain to redirect all the traffic to their own stuff. That's how they play these operations. Fucking gay apps, honestly. If a domain transfer isn't granted, the proposed innovation requires third-party intermediaries to block the domain in the United States, which could be the best case scenario. You know what? Go fuck yourself. I'm out. Those the, pe the people in the US that re are really are into hentai content, they're just going to use a VPN, give the middle finger to PCR, and move on. Ta. They are so fucking stupid. These corporations, they are just proving why they want to take down away your enjoyment. Because they don't know how to operate. They rely on investors. The line must go up every single case. And we don't want people to enjoy the old stuff since the old stuff probably they're not so good or not specifically appealing to the new people or new modern audience. I bet they're just pushing that nonsense, uh, which is just fucking retarded, which I already stated. When it comes to hentai, uh, the people that love that shit, they have many different tastes, and they have their way to satisfy that. So that's all I wanted to share with you here, because once again is piracy giving another reason to exist. Corporations never learning anything again and just giving ammo to people to be more spiteful towards them and pirate even harder. And just to remember, you say you can say the internet is forever, but it's just going to be very hard to search for what you used to like. You either are probably we are going witnessing the old era of internet coming back, which is gatekeeping communities, and on top of that the things that you like, if you have it easier to access right now on the internet, you should download it and back it up because you don't know if it's coming back. So that's all I wanted to share with you here. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a pretty good weekend or start of the week, whatever, if this video gets uploaded. Thanks for watching and I hope you take care.